Okay, this video is for plane AD514, and the, the, the statement, or the question, that I had some thoughts on, I read this before bed and now I have some thoughts on it, the statement was, manager not give me deserved playing time. So, I want you to pretend, if you're a Star Wars fan, that you're Yoda. And I, I want you to do this because if you're Yoda, then you operate on a different, there's a, there's a different level, right? I believe that if you approach your life and your game like Yoda, um, or if you have, if you've seen, uh, Kung Fu Panda, the, um, right, uh, um, Jack Black's character's uh, teacher that you're going to completely change your game, you're going to play more, and you're going to enjoy, you're going to get more out of life because you're going to have different focuses and you're going to be more present, right? Um, if you, and it's, it's, it's almost like when you stop trying to play and shift your focus more to curiosity, to learning, to mastering, being here now, and um, and getting a little bit better every day instead of so instead of so you want to start to spend major time on major things instead of major time on minor things. Right, so I want you to start to change little little things in your day-to-day -day that are going to completely, um, that in one year, you're going to be, you're going to be the best player that you've ever been in your whole entire life. Um, and that's very, very accomplishable. So I want you to change some small habits you do every day, something as simple as juggling. If you're, at this moment in time, if you're not spending one minute a day Right, one minute a day juggling a soccer ball, um, that's a com that's a game changer. It'll completely change your game. It'll completely change your life, and you're gonna have more joy on and off the field if you juggle a soccer ball one minute a day. That's my challenge for you until the until until death. If you juggle a soccer ball one minute a day, and the point is the point is to not to to not be um, to get a lot of juggles per se but to develop the re a relaxation technique and get in, into deep relaxation while you're juggling and to control your, uh, be aware of your breathing. So you're super relaxed, um, you're super relaxed, but you're super, um, uh, you're super present, right? I, wanna, I was gonna say focus, but I think it's being aware and being present is different than just being focused. I think it's, it's on a deeper level, and I think that starts with with practice, a daily. That's a habit, and it's um. It's just a daily habit. It's a it's a med it's a meditation, right? It's juggling meditation. That's what I want you to do every day. Juggling meditation for one minute, and then you start to do it for two minutes. Once you once you do the habit, and then it's three minutes a day, and then it's four minutes a day, and then it's you know in maybe a year or two, then you can keep a tennis ball up you know, for, for five minutes barefoot, right? Just as an example. So, um, the way that starts is, you know, one minute a day, um, just getting, just getting some touches and having fun. Um, deserve to have more playing time. Oh. Skills kick trainer, 20 bucks, Amazon. If you don't have a skills kick trainer, Get, I would get one. It's a it's a no-brainer, right? You can make it yourself if you don't have it. 20 bucks, or you get a size one or a size two ball. You attach a rope. You you cut some rope. You you spread the rope out so it sit, sits flush on the ball. Then you wrap uh, duct tape or electrical tape around it. And then you want the rope to be the length from your hip, hip to your ankle. And actually, I've noticed a little bit a little bit shorter, and it's gonna allow you to better manipulate. Uh, skills kick trainer, right? This is something I'm in France right now. I travel here from Boston. This thing 
It sync travels with me everywhere I go. It never leaves me. It it should be if you're a soccer player and you love the game, it should be it's a it's a rhythm tool, it's a breathing tool, it's a meditation tool. So again, um, just get be, you want to start to be able to just get in like a, a flow, a zen state where you're like, you're just like chilling and you could be like, react like a ninja when a ball's coming at you at high speeds and you just take it down, you know, f just move it, move it. It comes here and it's over there. It's over there. It goes there, right? So it's, it's just being present and um, practicing that, that habit of, of deep relaxation is going to help you get more playing time because you're going to be more joyful on and off the field because you've spent a little bit of time every day honing your soccer skills. Um, so that's two, right? So number one is juggle every day, develop a meditative juggling practice where you get into a zen-like relaxed state. Number two is skills kick trainer, which you buy for 20 bucks or on Amazon or yeah, buy for 20 bucks on Amazon or make it yourself for less than 10 bucks maybe less than less than all, all together 15 bucks um and the close third i would buy the book atomic habits which is just another uh by james clear right atomic habits by james clear it's just an it will talk about the power of the little things i'm talking about right atomic when he, what he means by atomic is something that's it's so small that you were, you can't even, you can't see atoms, right? They're so small. And that's the type of practice that, right? Just a little bit of practice every day, a little bit of practice every day, and you're going to completely change your life and right in the end, get this result, which is more playing time. But I think deeper, it's, you're going to be, it's, you're going to have so much more joy while playing that you're actually, you're not even going to care. If you follow some of this advice, I want you to get to a point where you're not even going to care if you play. You're just so happy to be where you are on and off the field. You're filled with joy. And if you put in the game, then that's okay. And if you're not in the game, that's okay. Because if I was on the sideline and I wasn't in the game, then I wouldn't let the ball, I wouldn't let the ball touch the ground. The ball wouldn't touch the ground and I'd be getting touches. The whole game for 90 minutes, I would not let the ball touch the ground and you're just having a good time keeping the ball up and you're relaxed and if your team wins or loses you you want to support them with your presence but I, you know if you're going to play you want to play and I, I i love to play and if i'm not in the game i'm going to do what i can to be in the game um which means uh practice develop a, a daily, daily practice. Oh, so that's, that's three by the book, Atomic Habits by James Clear, or listen to the audio. If you're not a, a big reader, effortless would be the close fourth and possibly the third effortless by Jerry McEwen. Um, um, those two books together are like, are like a yin and a yang or yang. I'm not sure which yang is yin or yin is yang, but those two books are, will start a fire within you that will lead to more playing time, right? This is what I believe. So um, reach out with any questions and uh, thank you for your time. Okay.